Welcome to Minecraft Fixer Upper. Hello and welcome to Minecraft Fixer Upper episode number two. We are looking at this tower right here. It is uh, in a world that it was made by um, Portul Bulanlos, which I probably totally butchered the name. Um, this is the world that the tower is in. And I thought it was a really good example to actually um, show one of the concepts when it comes to building in this fixer upper. The person who created this world was really unhappy with the tower and felt like it didn't really fit it. This tower actually is a redstone contraption, so we have to take into account a little bit of things like such as the chest and there is also some redstone in the tower. If you have a look, we have some redstone going on right here. So how do we approach a project like this? I was actually struggling a little bit with the design because at first I just designed a tower and I was like, oh, it's quite intricate, it's a beautiful design, but it won't really fit in this world. So the creator of this world has a very simple style, very stone and wood based, um, not very intricate and detailed with a bunch of different materials and I figured that the tower that I originally created wouldn't really fit in this world. So this is the lesson that I want to share with you today. If you um, stick to a build palette and a build style and have like a similar world, it can make it look quite cohesive. This is also one of the reasons why I think they don't really like the tower because the red really sticks out. It's not used anywhere else in the world and it makes it look quite busy and just like it doesn't really fit. Also simplicity sometimes is just better than having the most intricate build. You want your builds to look cohesive to each other, have nice shapes and a fit to each other and since this is a simple town we're gonna build quite a simple tower and I'm gonna show you how to still make it look amazing. So first of all I am actually going to take down pretty much the whole tower because I want to have it to be a bit more of a rounded shape and since I also want to switch out the material from stone to wood I think it's best to just rip out the tower as it is. Usually I just like to fix up parts of it but in this case um, as I want to have a look at the redstone and I don't want to mess anything up, I'm just going to take down the stone bits and then I'll check in with you once that is done. Alright, so I stripped down the whole tower. I just left the storage module intact. I did disable the water elevator here because I started laying out the circle that's going to be the tower shape and I actually am going to go into the space where the water was flowing before. But we have a lot of space in the back, so I think we'll just reroute the water elevator and it shouldn't be an issue. I'm just going to do that real quick to not bore you with any redstone and then we'll continue on with the building. Alright, so now that the redstone is all fixed up, we're going to actually lay the foundation for the tower. I have already circled out um, where I want the main part of the tower to be. So I'm just going to pull it up until it's at my desired height, which is going to be, I think, one block above this one. So the whole uh, contraption with the water is inside and covered up. And I will bring you back in once that is done as well. And there we go. All done and dusted. Pulled all the way up and, oops, I was just noticing I made a mistake here. So let's fix that and have it go the same direction. And there we go. We have a nice big tower that kind of fits into the design here because dark oak is a block that um, the world owner uses a lot. So now the next step is going to make it a bit more structurally sound and I also want to bring in some stone bricks since the owner of this world uses stone bricks a lot and I feel like the build doesn't really fit the world unless it uses stone bricks. So we're going to incorporate those in a border kind of way around the base of the tower. The owner of this world wanted the tower to have a bit of a medieval look and of course um, fitting into here. Um, I feel like I want to do a little bit of a structure, so maybe coming up two blocks and maybe even putting a wall on top could be an option, like so and so. Yeah, that could look really nice. And I think I want to slab off the corners here to just give a little um, a bit of a structure to the main build. Like so. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, so let's put that all the way around, like so. There we go. And while I was doing this, I wanted to point out one little trick for you. Can you see this? Here, the terrain actually went down lower on this side than it was here. So we have a dirt spot left here. Try to avoid those in your build and just swap them out for stone. It makes it look a bit more sturdy and just makes a bit more sense since it's kind of weird if you have like one little dirt block and heavy stone resting on top of it. That wouldn't make sense in the real world. 
and it doesn't really make sense in Minecraft and therefore it doesn't really look that good. So let's put on the um, walls on top and there we go. Yeah, I kind of like this. Oh, I forgot the slab on this side, so there we go. Just giving it a bit more of a base. So now I think it's time for the roof and then we'll get into the fun part of the texture and the detailing. To make the roof fit in with the build a bit more, I'm actually going to add in a bit of a trim here on the outside with the stairs and add some more of the stone brick into the build, which is also going to add to it fitting into these buildings here. They're using cobble. I'm using stone now, but that should work as well. All right, so the roof is done and I went with a nice uh, two, one, two, one uh, pattern. I think it turned out pretty good. I, I wanted to have a bit of a steep roof, just considering if maybe I'm actually going to heighten that by one more. Uh, what do we feel about that? Mm, yeah, that actually, I think that might work. We'll see. And now we're gonna go and add a little bit of detailing to the roof. And I'm going to use some stairs for this, just adding them here and there to give the roof a bit more um, of a shape than just being a blocky mess. I always have three on the sides here, so on the pieces that are too tall, so not on this one because it's just one tall, but this is too tall, I just add a little stair in the middle, not this way, this way, there we go, just to give it a little bit more of a um, texture and have it look a bit more like a roof and I'm also going to do this up here and there we go so we have a nice roof and see how much the stairs add like giving it a little bit of a uh, different jut out texture and things so I, I really like that now we're going to um, go with texturing I'm going to texture the roof the body of the build and I'm also going to texture the stone down below but let's start with the roof I'm just going to add in some bits of um, dark oak wood just here and there and it's not making my life easier there we go um, just here and there to show a bit of um, change in the roof as if the weather has actually you know taken its toll on it and uh, made it look a bit weathered and I will bring you back in once I will start texturing with the body. All right, so I finished the roof. I put little bits all the way around. Sometimes I changed directions so the pattern wasn't all too obvious. And now we're going to go texture the body. In this case, I actually am going to use the same dark oak wood um, for the body that I used for the roof. So we're gonna do that all the way around, like so. And there we go. Having a bit of a more rough texture in there with the oak wood actually gives it a bit more of a industrial rundown look. It's not as smooth as just the uh, strip block would be. And now for the stone, I am actually going to um, make use of the mossy cobble and the mossy stone bricks just to switch it up a little bit and maybe even put one or two pieces of regular cobble in there as well. Like so, and there we go. One of the tricks that I use for texturing the bottom of this wall is actually to think about logical, um, real life world problems. So if you had moss coming down from this um, stone brick and growing up here, then it would make a lot of sense that the top bit here would also have moss on it. And I feel that makes it look much better to have some moss on those than actually not having any. And it also looks better than having a mossy one when there's no moss underneath. So it kind of makes sense. And as you can see, I did that every time I actually brought up the moss to the top layer, I made the wall piece above it. In this case, I even did a cobble one. Um, I have also have moss on top. That just makes it look a bit more believable and like it makes sense and actually is something growing up the tower. So I feel like so far the tower is looking really, really good. I really like it. I think it fits in quite well if we go here and look at more of the panoramic view. I think it fits quite well into the landscape and it looks like it was meant to be here or it was here like all the time. And I'm just noticing that I made a mistake that I just told you not to make. There we go. So the next step that I would do to make it look um, like a better build, even though it's quite a simple build actually, is do some detailing. The owner of this world has already started detailing with some other buildings, having like some barrels hanging, some uh, bells, some banners and stuff around. So we're actually going to make this look like it is supposed to be here and like it is supposed to 
have a function and has things going on with it. And for that, we're gonna do some, some major detailing on this one. First, I actually want to build a little bit of a, um, I don't know, like a transporty crane thing that juts out of the building. And since I don't really know how to explain what it is, I'm just gonna build it and show you. So this is what I was talking about. I um, have like a little crane thingy here and gonna decorate that with some barrels sticking out, going in every direction. One addition that I really like to do is use campfires. When you turn off the heat, it kind of looks like, you know, just a pile of woody bits and things that just for some reason need to be there getting transported and stuff. Just makes it look a bit more believable, a bit more, I guess, lifting. So there we go. That kind of adds a lot to the tower, but it looks a bit lonely and doesn't really make any sense why it would be here. There's nothing around, no paths leading to the tower and things. I'm actually going to do a bit more detailing around the tower. So I think I'm going to bring you in once it's completely done and then walk you through it in all detail. And there we go. That is my detailing for this build. We're gonna walk through what I did and what you can um, you know, look at to make it look better. I added a lot of barrels and storage and storage looking items and also made the place look like people walked along a lot on here with like path blocks and mixed in some spruce blocks. And um, one of the things I really like to do when detailing things like this is use campfires. They make a really nice addition. I already showed you this on top of here, but here it even makes a nicer addition. Something else you want to be careful of, and I just left one in to show you, is to not have any green bits showing. Like for example here, I also had some grass blocks underneath, and you don't really want that because it kind of just detracts from your build, so you, you just fill it in with planks uh, underneath. And um, if you put a path look here then, it looks brown and it doesn't really, you don't really notice it. Looms make a great addition. I also really like to use smokers. If you put a lantern on top of here, oops, there we go. Then you don't even have any trouble with the uh, cooking uh, uh, space that looks a bit weird. I also like um, using note blocks that look a little bit like crates. And so I just cluttered it a bit around, textured, the uh, floor with the path blocks and the spruce wood or the spruce planks and yeah that's about it i also had some like logs with um, stone cutters and stuff like this in my original design but i think since this is actually a tower for storing stone i think the wood cutting didn't fit as well so i figured i would just leave it at that and if we take a little bit of a step back there you go, you can see it fits pretty nicely into the world, it doesn't really stick out too much. Of course it's built out of wood instead of stone, but it's not a building, it's just a storage tower so I figured it should look a bit different. It definitely has a bit of a medieval touch and it has the function of actually being a functional storage tower with all the redstone inside of it. Personally, I'm really happy with the build. I think it turned out great and it has function as well. It's pretty good, well integrated, even though it's quite a simple build. So you can see detailing really um, does make a big difference to make a build feel like it belongs to the world that it's in. Yeah, so I hope you were able to take away a little bit for your own builds. I hope you liked this video and if you want me to have a go at your own build, then just hit me up on Instagram, send me a picture of your build and I will have a look at it. So I guess I will see you in the next video. Roll the outro. So now I have only 20 seconds to say something till that outro is over. So if you actually made it to the end, please give this video a like, consider subscribing if you liked it and um, keep the good vibes rolling. If you got any good vibes from this video today, consider spreading them to someone else and make the world a happier place. Bye!